Hello and welcome back to this amazing channel. This is Abhinav. In this particular video, we'll discuss about the problem E of code forces round 929, uh, which is actually a division 3 round. Okay. Uh, we have already solved uh, like the other problems also. So basically in my channel, I will upload all the five video solutions, which is from A to B. Okay. But in this particular video, I'm just going to discuss about the problem of B. If you want to ch check the solution of other problems, you can check out the channel here. There you can find the other problems also, right? So let's first discuss what this problem says, which is turtle versus ra versus rabbit race uh, optimal trainings. So basically, they are saying that there are n running tracks, and in each track there are some sections, right? In each track there are some sections. Now, when uh, Isaac will uh, will run some sections, there is some amount of uh, performance that is increased by Isaac, and the performance will be u. In if the, in the first section which Isaac will run, there will be u uh, 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 times the performance will be in increased. In the second section, it will be u minus one, u minus two, and so on. But there will be a point. For example, u is ten, but uh, uh, the uh, Isaac is at the fifteenth, uh, uh, you know, section. Then the performance of Isaac will be increased by u plus one minus fifteen. Which is ultimately a negative value because u is ten. So after some number of sections, the the performance of Isaac will getting reduced, right? So what basically you have to do is you are given with an integer l, you have to choose an integer r. Okay, what r? Basically l is given to you. You have to choose r such that Isaac will run in all the sections of all the tracks from l to r. तो एल से आर के बीच में जितने भी सेक्शन जितने भी ट्रैक्स हैं उनके जितने भी सेक्शन हैं आइजेक विल रन ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड आफ्टर डूइंग दैट हिज परफॉर्मेंस शुड बी मैक्सिमम तो व्हाट शुड बी द वैल्यू ऑफ आर सच दैट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ आइजेक इज मैक्सिमम तो दिस प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज इट्स इट्स सेल्फ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स सो लेट मी ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन दिस टू यू ओके व्हाट वी विल डू सो लेट लेट्स टेक दिस फर्स्ट एग्जांपल ओनली दिस फर्स्ट टेस्ट केस So here the array that is given to you is something like this. So it's three one four one, it's one and five nine, okay. And the value of n is six. So basically there are six uh, tracks, okay. There are six tracks, and you can say that this is A R R. So basically we will say that in the zero track or the first track there are three sections. Then there are four sections, five, uh, one section, <coughs> four section, one section, five section, nine section. So these are the number of sections in each track. Okay. Now there are some Q queries, right? So in each query, you are given with a value of u. U is basically the value by which Isaac's performance will be increased. So in the first section, it will be increased by u. Then u minus one, then u minus two. This is the value u, and l is the value. From which it will start running. So Isaac will start from track number L, and has to run up, up to R, and that R you have to find. L से लेके किस R तक वो run करे कि overall performance उसकी maximum हो, right? Maximum हो, reduce now basically increase हो बस, ठीक है? Initially zero होगी, okay? So let let's take the example. So for example you can see here this is the value, this is the array given to you, and there are actually uh, three queries that they have given, right? So three queries. The first query is one comma eight. So one comma eight means that L is one and ah uh, what U is eight. Okay, L is one, U is eight. So actually this is a one base indexing. So basically L mean L one means is basically L zero in zero base indexing. So basically ah uh, they are saying L is here. Now you have to find the R from this L till the end anywhere that R can be present. Such that that uh, you know Isaac will run all the tracks of all the sections between L to R. For example, let's say let's say that uh, that Isaac has taken this as the R. Means Isaac will run all these sections. So how many total sections are there? Three plus one plus four plus one plus five. So the overall value will be fourteen. Means Isaac will run fourteen sections. And u is eight. Okay, so see, in the first section, what is given? In the first section, his performance will be increased by u, which is eight. 
in the second section it will be 7 see u minus 1 then third section it will be 6 fourth section it will be 5 fifth section it will be 6 okay oh sorry 4 now 8 7 6 5 4 then 3 2 1 0 so in the fourth section it will be uh, in the sixth section basically it will be 3 7 2 8 1 now see in the eighth section his value is 1 in the ninth section it will become 0 means Isaac's performance will be increased by 0 and after 9 it will getting reduced then it will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5. basically we don't need these negatives we need that the, the, the sections, the number of sections should be equal to u only. Because you can see up to 8th section, we were getting positive performance. After that, it got 0 and the negative. We don't need 0, we don't need negative. We need up to, we are having some increase in the performance by some positive value. Right? So that is what we want. So we basically want 8 sections only. So if uh, Isaac is starting from L. We need a R such that between L to R, we have eight sections. And yes, it is possible. If you will see, if we will make our R here, there are eight sections. E plus one plus four. So how we will actually find this? See, what we will do to find this? So we will be having this R, right? We will be having this array, and there are multiple queries. So for all the queries, first of all, I will create a prefix array. Prefix array means prefix sum array. So till here sum is 3. Till here it's 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 4, 8, 9, 14, and then 20. Now see. In the first uh, uh, in the first uh, query, in the query one, L is basically 0, means it means we can start L from 0 from here. And u is basically 8. Basically, we want a subarray in this array whose number of sections are 8. And that subarray should start from L. It should start from L. Right. So L should start karke kahan par aisa hai ki 8 aa hai. So you can see from here to here it's 8. And here also it's 8. Starting from here till here, sum is 8. So yes, we got the answer. Means value of R will be this second index. And in one base index, it will be 3. And you will see also for the first query, the answer is 3. Now, let's see for the second query. For the second query, answer is 2, 7. Okay. Now, when L is 2, U is 7. So, basically, L is 1, basically. The 0 base indexing we are considering. So L is actually here now. So, means starting from here, we need some 7. See, when, again, I am saying, starting from here, Right, it's starting from here. So, if we are starting from here, but if you have to start from here, this 4 is considering this, this 3 also. So what we will see, if we have to start from here and search for some 7, I will add this also. So, when I will add a value which is before L, which is 3, so it will become 7 plus 3, 10. Now, I will search for 10. So, we are searching for 10, but 10 may say 3 to nickel jayega na yaha so, we will search for 10. How we will search? Whether 10 is present or not? We will find a lower bound. See, because 10 is not present, we will find a lower bound. We will find a lower bound. See, because 10 is not present, the lower bound will give me this value. This 14 it will. Either take from here to here, or either take from here to here. We have two options. Look, either if directly 10 is present, it is fine. You see, here 8 directly present. In the previous case, when we were searching for 8, it is present. We can take 8 sections from the previous one. But here it is 10. Now, look, in some cases what we will do, we can, in some cases we will take less than 10 also, in some cases we will take more than 10 also. For example, when we are taking, when our, it is 10, means, our lower bound is here. Right. Basically, how many sections are there? 14 minus 3, we have 11 sections. We got 11 sections. But we have to search for 7 sections. How many sections do we get? 11 sections. We got 11 sections. Let's find in 11 sections what will be the gain. So in first section it will be 7, second 6, third 5, fourth 4, 
सेवेंथ मंथ कैन सी वी आर सर्चिंग फॉर सेवन सेक्शन बिकॉज सेवन सेक्शन तक इट वॉज पॉजिटिव आफ्टर दैट इट विल बिकम निगेटिव और तो यहाँ पर निगेटिव वैल्यूज आ गए हाउ मेनी निगेटिव वैल्यूज आर दियर माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस सिक्स निगेटिव वैल्यूज आ गए तो इफ यू विल सी फ्रॉम सेवन वी मूव फोर टाइम्स आफ्टर तो बेसिकली यहाँ पे तीन बार माइनस वन माइनस वन माइनस निगेटिव मिला जो कि बेसिकली एलिमिनेट कर देंगे इन सबको तो इलेवन तक लेना इज इक्वल टू फोर तक मिलना तो फोर तक मिलने से तो बेटर है कि हम नाइन तक ले लें नाइन बेसिकली क्या हुआ नाइन माइनस थ्री विल भी सिक्स कि हम सिक्स तक ले लें तो विच इज बेटर फोर तक या फिर सिक्स तक सिक्स तक इज बेटर तो बेसिकली विल सी क्योंकि वी वर सर्चिंग फॉर टेन वी वर सर्चिंग फॉर टेन वी गॉट टू वैल्यूज वन इज फोर्टीन वन इज नाइन वी विल सी विच इज क्लोजर टू टेन फोर्टीन इज क्लोजर और नाइन इज क्लोजर ओके नाइन इज क्लोजर तो और आंसर विल भी हेयर विच इज इंडेक्स नंबर थ्री विच इज फोर इन द वन बेज इंडेक्स सो द आंसर इज If you will see the last case, it is five comma nine. So five comma nine means is starting from five. We want some nine. L is five, U is nine. Five means index number four, right? So our L will be at four. We want nine. So nine from here, right? So we will also consider this nine. So nine plus nine, eighteen. Now we will search for eighteen. Okay. So eighteen. We will search for eighteen. Let's say X is U. प्लस थ्री ऑफ एल माइनस वन विच इज एटीन क्या हमें एटीन सर्च करेंगे क्योंकि हमें यहाँ से नाइन चाहिए ठीक है तो इसके पहले तक नाइन हमारे पास ऑलरेडी था तो नाइन प्लस नाइन एटीन सर्च कर लो पीछे का नाइन प्लस हमें नाइन और चाहिए राइट एटीन सर्च कर लिया अब एटीन का लोअर बाउंड क्या आएगा एटीन तो देखो अगर एटीन प्रेजेंट होता तो कोई दिक्कत नहीं थी अब हमें ये मिला का लोअर बाउंड अब ये है ट्वेंटी थ्री और ये है फोर्टीन विच इज क्लोजर टू एटीन Fourteen is closer, right? So answer will be five plus four plus one fifth index. This is what we will do. So if you will see here, if you will see here, what I have done in the solution. I have this array. I have this array. I have first of all calculated the prefix sum of it. Then for each query, I got l and u because l was one based. I decrease it by one for make it zero based. Now this is x. X is basically the value that we will search in the lower bound. For example. If u is eight, here if u was nine, and l is five, so l यहाँ पे है ना, l basically four, l यहाँ पे था, तो हमें इसके आगे चाहिए नौ सम, हमें इसके आगे का सम चाहिए, इसके आगे a sub array which is having sum nine, but because it's a prefix sum, it will also consider before five also. तो हमने उसमें ये nine भी add कर लिया कि यहाँ तक nine था, बस इसके आगे eighteen मिल जाए, nine plus nine eighteen, ultimately वो उतना सबसे nine हो जाएगा. That nine will be subtracted, right? If you remember the prefix sum concept, so we have done that. So we have first of all taken u first, and if l is zero, it means that our l is zero. If zero is zero, then find out the value of x from the zero index only. So l is our ahead, so we will have to consider it later. So we will have to delete it later. So we will have to add 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 it later. So we will have to If that lower bound is less than L, means that lower bound is less than L. कि जो वो बोल रहा है जो R है वो L से भी पीछे है. But R can not be less than L. तो हमने सीधे सीधे L output कर दिया. And because we have to output in one base indexing, I output in L plus one. ठीक है. उसके बाद में, then if L B is greater than equal to N, means if lower bound is not present. Let's say आप search कर रहे हो lower bound of twenty five. वो तो है ही नहीं यहाँ पर. It will give you a value which is end, which is n. In that case, R up, we will last index. Lelo, last index which is n. Else, you will find which is better, which is closer. So, if lower bound is closer to x, if difference between x and the lower bound value is closer, that will be the answer. Else, we will take a value which is one less than lower bound. Here, we have lower bound put. Yeah, plus one. Karein because of one base indexing. If lower bound is closer. Output that index. Else, if the value which is lesser is closer, output that. For example, here when we were searching for eighteen, fourteen was closer. Let's say we were searching for twenty. Let's say in that case, twenty three was closer. Our answer will be that. Right. So that's the case. I I know it's little bit complex. Even I took a lot of time in solving this problem. If you will see my rank, 
if you will see my profile, I took around half an hour to solve this fifth problem. Right. So it's fine. One thing, if you are still having any doubt in this in this question, try to, you know, check all the test cases with this approach. Then you will get it more clearly because that is what I did to understand this approach. If you still have any doubt regarding this approach, you can join a telegram. You can ask your doubts there, right? Or you can also comment down your doubts and I will uh, discuss it. Okay. So thanks for watching this particular video. I hope that you have got the complete understanding of this problem. Thanks a lot for other problems from A to D. You can check out the channel. You will find that there. Thank you.